This has been probably one of the worst videos I ever made and I will ever make. And the reason, the reason for that is very simple. How hard can it be just to try to figure out three miniatures? Nothing else, nothing more. It couldn't be that difficult, could it? You are absolutely wrong. My name is Miguel, this is Rush the Wash, and on today's video, I just wanted to show you how I painted three gene stealers for my Space Crusade restoration project. For those of you who don't know, I bought a secondhand Space Crusade and I was restoring it to make it look like the game that I always dreamed to have. And it was going so well that I thought that I would be finished by the end of this year. It is not happening. I know many of you watching the channel are my same age, you have jobs, you have commitments, you have family, you have kids, you have a lot of things to do, and you don't have the time to spend six hours or seven hours slaving over the highlights of a small miniature just to play games with it with your kids. I get you, okay? I know. Of course, the scope of the video was giving you options to do it as simple and as fast as possible. I get my three gene stealers, I prime them, and that's where the first... Oh. <laughs> that's where the first mistake happened. Priming them with a spray rattle can in the heat and humidity that I was doing it, it was not a good idea. You see, this texture over here is not the best for painting the top. We need to focus on two main areas, the soft flesh of the gene stealer and the hard cap race. If we get those two colors nailed down, 95% of the paint job is done. Sorted out, dusted. The easiest miniatures in the game by far. Well, it didn't work out. This is my first miniature. On this one, I decided to use contrast paint. Available, easy to use, straightforward, not a problem, right? Wrong. The soft areas of the gene stealer, I decided to use Volupus Pink to paint those. For the exoskeleton, Ultramarines Blue, which ended up being quite flat. In order to fix this, I had to do highlights. And I didn't want to do that. I didn't really want to do that. Painting white highlights is not the best way to save time on your paint jobs. And although I fixed the problem with the contrast, it was not what I wanted to do. The three things that I wanted to achieve, easiness, speed, and similarity to the original paint job. Um, Sorry, I forgot. I'm gonna give you scores on each one of the paint jobs to tell you what I learned from them. The first one is easiness. On a five, it means that you just pick up your brushes and anybody can do this with a little bit of pulse. On the speed, a five means you have 30 minutes at night when everybody's asleep and quiet to paint your miniatures. I think my audience can relate to that. And the last parameter is how similar it is to the paint job that we're trying to copy. On a 5, it is 100% exactly the same that what we're trying to achieve. On a 1, well, let's say that the colors are completely, absolutely different. Clear? Let's get back to it. Easiness, because of the white highlights, I'm gonna give it a 2. It's just this tedious, small thing that you have to draw very thin lines and make sure that they are on the right spot. Regarding speed, we are there again, at a 2 out of 5. It takes way too much time for something that I just painted with 5 different colors. It's mind-boggling that it took so long to do something as simple as this. Similarity to the original paint job, mm, I will give it a 3. It's close, but it's a little bit too dark. I don't think it's a perfect representation. Not good. Contrasts are awesome tools, but if you need to do white highlights or highlights in general, like I did now, you are painting in a different manner. But this is not what I'm trying. I'm trying to get them painted as soon as possible. So, you know, fast. Let's get to the next one. In here, I'm going to use Vallejo Game Wash. They are quite different from Contrast. They don't colorize that much and they work very similar to watercolor. On the other hand, they are also way cheaper and they are more consistent on their approach to not changing ranges all the time. Where is my known oil paint wash up? Hate them or love them, Vallejo makes great paints and this I really like. Let's see how they actually work on this particular paint job. The first color I'm going to use is the Red Wash, which is a very subtle color, not red at all, mostly magenta, even pinkish. And for the blue, well, the blue wash has a very, very faint baby blue color that actually works quite well with this middle hammer type of paint job for the gem stealer. As the washes went into the recesses, I had to recover the color with a little bit of white paint. And, well, once again, I'm doing white highlights. Oh my Bruh. god. The reason here is the pre-shading was too strong. To fix this, it would have been super easy. Just give it a dry brush before even applying any of the washes. On the other hand, the blue is very good. I like it quite a lot. I clean the teeth and the clothes, preparing them for the next step on painting them with skeleton horde. Because the Vallejo washes are more faint, more subtle, I had to give a second coat with each one of them once again. 
it is not optimal for speed painting but it does not consume as much time as even the white highlights as we did before then all that remains are the details with bone and red and we're done so let's see the score I get for this paint job. Easiness, I think I'm going to give it a 4 out of 5 if we don't take into account the white highlights. Although these ones are a little bit more rough, so they don't need that pulse that we used before. 4 Xenomorphs out of 5 for sure. Speed wise, it was quite fast as well. There is another thing you have to paint twice to make the colors colorize the way you want them to colorize. I was about to give it a 4, but I think I'm going to stick to a 3. Lastly, is the similarity to the original paint job. And in here, honestly, it's quite similar but not perfect the blue i really like i don't like the purple if i were to choose between three and four i think four let's give it a four if you have been watching my videos you know that this is a restoration of a second hand game and it has some odd bits here and there this is one of them although it's a gene stealer this miniature is not from the game it's not even from the 90s so what is it doing here i don't know i'm a strong advocate for recovering any miniatures whatsoever and this guy was here so let's paint him right and here i'm going to use a couple of different colors the first one is air color even though they are not formulated for this they are formulated to be using airbrushes they work quite well for painting and glazing and in here i'm going to use one of my favorite shades ever harbor crimson i think now it has been updated to a contrast paint so i'm not sure if that works the same way can you please stop doing that in this workshop i really like the paints the way they are never gonna happen whatever I've used air colors for a lot of projects until now and honestly I'm quite surprised about how useful they are for brushing the wash. In here I'm not giving white highlights, I'm just recovering the color in those places that I stained and we can move on to the next color without having to do much work. I'm not very happy with the blue color as it is, so I'm gonna darken it with watered down Lebanon blue. I'm not very technical on my approach for this, I just wet my brush and put a little bit of water from my cup and then when I see the consistency is right I wash with that what I'm very very happy about is how this worked cardboard crimson made a fantastic job with the soft areas of the gen stealer this is for sure the winner. all that remains is painting the areas of claws and teeth and then adding a little bit of red to the tongue and the eyes of the gen stealer that's it what scores will I give to this particular gin stealer? Easiness, it is the easiest of the three, with the single exception of that extra wash that I gave with Leviton Blue, because you need to find the right consistency, and if you're not good at that, it gets tricky. However, I will give it still a 4 out of 5. Speed-wise, 5 out of 5 Xenomorphs. No problem whatsoever getting to this level within 15 to 20 minutes. Similarity-wise, I think I'm gonna give it a 2 out of 5. The hues are there, but they are not exactly the same, are they? With the exception of the purple. The purple looks quite good. What did I learn with these three paint jobs that I never got right? The first thing is that if you have a problem with your primer and you want your miniatures to look flawless, you need to strip them down. I am lazy and I didn't have that much time. So the second option that you have, if you don't want to start all over again, is finish your paint job and then you have to cover it with a nice coat of varnish. For me, these are not my best paint jobs. Far from that. Probably the worst in the game as of now they are not instagram worthy but they are game worthy my players are gonna be super happy to have the miniatures on the table painted and that's all i care about right now trust yourself and keep pushing don't give up on your paint job if i had to do this all over again i would probably get to this conclusion cap race vallejo blue wash soft flesh caribou crimson the moral of the story in this video is that no matter what you need to keep painting to get better at it if you want to see how I restore this game, you can check out these videos over here. And if you want to see other stuff, you can see this video over here. My name is Miguel, this has been Rush the Wash, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. A Gene Stealer kiss. <laughs> Adios.